What's up guys, here it is Carl of the Bay Bahrain with another video for the customization of your Bluebo S8 and in today's video I'm going to be telling you how to change the default launcher of your Bluebo S8 I know it was too fast but it has been a really bad problem which I have observed in Bluebo S8 that you can change the uh, default launcher so this video we're going to be about how to change the default launcher alright so first thing which you have to like make sure is that your phone is rooted right this is only for the rooted uh, blue blue s8s and if your blue blue s8 is not rooted then I'm really sorry you can just close this video because I don't want to fool you so make sure that your phone is rooted or uh, blue blue s8 is rooted and as soon as you are like sure about it that your blue blue s8 is rooted just install any like explorer file explorer which allows you to browse through the root browser oh uh, sorry root folder of your phone of a blue blue s8 or root files all right after you're sure about it and uh, you've installed the file explorer like in my case i'm using mix file explorer so depends for you which one you use so after you have got that uh browser either es file explorer or root explorer whichever it is just go into the root directory of your phone like just in my case I have gone into the root directory of my phone and grant the root permissions to the application to the file explorer application after that just look for the data folder alright let me just highlight it this one just look for the data folder alright click on it open the folder now follow each and every step very carefully because if you won't follow or like listen to each and every step carefully you might mess up your device because we are playing with the root files you know like the ones which are like making your device work properly so make sure that you are uh, listen to each and every instruction properly okay so now I'm go into the data folder which means that inside the data folder you have another data folder and that's where you wanna uh, or you have direct to it after getting into that folder that is the data folder search for launcher and as soon as you will go search for launcher you will be having a launcher 3 folder right here like it we're gonna be having something like launcher 3 and another folder we're gonna be having that green icon green home icon or house icon which is about the initiator all right it actually initiates or actually responsible behind making it the default launcher of the device all right now as you uh, are as soon as you are able to find these two folders the one with initiator app and the other one with the launcher free app then you just need to delete these folders just mark them like this i'm not gonna be deleting these ones because these are custom launchers just delete them permanently and get back all right get back to the root directory yeah you can just see yeah, nothing else is left here get back to the root directory and scroll down look for another folder named system folder all right open the system folder after opening the system folder like just click on the app or like open the app folder which is on the topmost uh, priority and then just search for launcher again you will find folders probably here too so delete them after that what you do is just go to the private app yeah this is the main part the second folder which you need to focus on is the private app that is private app go here search for launcher and delete the two folders you're gonna get again two folders as such a uh, member all right after deleting these two folders just hit long press the power button and click on reboot and just uh, like reboot your device as soon as you're gonna reboot your device and uh, you're gonna open your phone like by fingerprint or through the pattern you're gonna see this stuff from yeah just like this select a home app just choose any one of the launcher which you have installed on your device now one thing which you should make sure is that you must have a launcher installed in your device like because if you will not gonna be having any launcher in your device then it will be in big trouble and we will not be able to open the play store at them it might take a little bit of mess around or to play with but 
that will not be easy thing and you know precaution is better than cure so make sure that you have already installed some launcher applications whichever you like to before proceeding with the deletion of the default launcher folders all right now after you have deleted the default launcher folders you're gonna have this sort of like uh, option available right there you can choose any one of the launchers whichever you like to and uh, that's it that's how you can just like change the default launcher in blue USA without like going through any serious mess or like complex steps procedure that simple it is yeah as simple as that it is so uh, I hope you guys like the video and if you guys like the video then hit on like button below and do subscribe to my channel for more of these sort of videos and don't forget to hit that post notification bell icon because I'm gonna keep you updated with the notifications or like the videos the latest videos which I upload on my YouTube channel and uh, surely you must subscribe to the channel too because if you like the video uh, of these types and you have problems with your Vivo S8 which can be solved then you must stay tuned to my channel and for that you have to subscribe to my channel and uh, secondly you can also comment below in the comment section if you have any doubts regarding the video whatever instructions are given in the video I'm gonna be also uploading or posting a blog about uh, how to change the default launcher so if you're not able to understand the video my language any problem is there in the video itself then you can just switch over to the textual blog which I'm gonna be uploading on my website or posting on my website and then you can just read it and get the feature enabled yeah that, that's actually a feature because in most of the phones we get the feature that we can use custom launches but blue boo uh, as it has 360 uh, OS so that uh, is actually uh, very much uh, what shall I say conscious about the security of the device and that's why it does not allow the custom launchers to be installed and used as the default ones I don't know why is that so but there must be some reason but whatever it is who cares about it you got the video just go through the steps and bam you got it in your phone in your blue breast. so thank you for watching guys see you in the next video till then goodbye